Today we're in the Wilton Formation, um, which is a formation based um, in the Illawarra Coal Measures, um, uh, which is near Sydney, south of Sydney. And um, we're just looking at a rock platform. Now this rock platform is part of the um, Permian Siltstone, uh, probably around 240 million years ago. And I just wanted to show you some of the drop stones that can be found in some of the different plateaus, um, in some of the different layers um, within the Illawarra Coal Measures. Um, now these drop stones were deposited um, via ice rifting and um, so what happens is um, ice goes along, um, collects a pile of debris probably at the end of a glacier and um, then th when this is washed out um, it may sort of accumulate in um, uh, bays and things like that and then as the ice melts these uh, rocks are deposited um, to the bottom of um, the basin floor. And what's interesting about these rocks, and one of the reasons we can tell that these rocks have been deposited by ice, is um, the fact that they're faceted class. And when you come across these, um, these drop stones, you can see that they've got sharp edges. Um, some of the edges have been um, kind of smoothed down, um, and this um, occurs when it's you know been grinded against, you know, another um, kind of um, sort of rock and um, so what separates these from being um, rocks that you would see deposited by water um, is that um, they are sharp and have got sharp edges and another thing that is interesting to notice is um, the impact craters that they form in this example you can see that um, this bit of quartz has dropped down and actually embedded itself within the mud and we can see that within this layer itself. Another interesting thing to look at is you'll notice with the drop stones that you'll find clumps of them um, in different patches and this uh, probably indicates um, that an iceberg has melted over the top of that particular area, uh, not an iceberg necessarily but a clump of ice and uh, those rocks um, have drop to the floor um, together um, from that particular um, patch of melting ice. Um, so I'll just leave you with a couple of different examples of some drop stones that I found. Um, if you want to check these out, these are part of the Wilton Formation and these particular examples can be found at the north end of Thrill Beach. And um, so if you just head around the headland in low tide um, and check out the rock platform, you should be able to see these.